Let's find the value of k. Let's cross multiply. So 27 will multiply. 27 brackets, k to the power of 2 minus k to the power of 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so we are multiplying both sides by 27. So this is same thing as 27k to the power of 2 minus 27k to the power of 3 is equal to 2. All right. Now, recall that 27 is same thing as 3 to the power of 3, okay? So we can write this as 3 to the power of 3, k to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 3, k to the power of 3 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, recall that a, a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, okay, is equal to a to the power of m plus n. All right. So that means we can express 3 to the power of 3 as 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2, right? Then k to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 3, k to the power of 3 is equal to 2. All right, I want us to recall also that a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is equal to a to the power of a multiplied by b, everything raised to the power of m, all right? So that is exactly what we are going to do right now. So we have that this is 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by, we are going to bring these 3k together. And we are going to square both of them, all right? Minus, we are going to bring this 3k together and we are going to cube both of them. Is equal to 2. Okay, now we continue. Let 3k be equal to y. Let's call it y or let's call it x, anything. Therefore, we can now rewrite the equation as what? 3 multiplied by y squared, right? minus y to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So we can write that, excuse me. Therefore, we can write that minus y to the power of 3, because this is a cubic equation, so I'm trying to rearrange it well. So we can write that minus y to the power of 3 plus 3y squared. Then I'm going to bring these two to this side as minus 2 is equal to zero now i want to remove this minus sign so i'm going to multiply through by minus one and when i do that i will have y to the power of three minus three y squared plus two is equal to zero now let's um solve this we cannot solve this by factorization method right so i'm going to solve this cubic equation using try and error method there are several ways you can solve cubic equation but i'm going to solve my using a try and error method okay so when i do that i'll have when you look at this you can see that the only thing that we satisfy this equation is when you say that y is equal to one because when you say y to the power of three minus three brackets y squared you are going to have one minus three right to give you minus two and minus two plus two is equal to zero so when we say y is equal to one we have gotten the first value of y but recall that we're not looking for y we are looking for k. So I would like you to watch to the end and see how we got the value of k from y. Okay, so if we say let y equal to 1, we are going to use synthetic division to get the value of y, the other values of y. All right, so I'm going to repeat what I just did here. Sorry, you can't see it. So what I did is that I drew my line like this, okay, and I drew another one. Then because I said let y equal to 1, I'm going to multiply through by this one. All right, then I will bring out the coefficients of my the equations of these variables here. So y to the power of three coefficients is one, y to the power of two coefficients is minus three. Then there's supposed to be y and it's not there. So we are going to write zero for each coefficient. Then we are going to write plus two, right? So two. Now we are going to divide. All right. So we are going to first of all bring down this one. We bring it down. Now, 1 times 1, we give us 1. So, we write it here. Then we subtract or we add, depending. So, this is minus 3 plus 1 because this is plus 1, right? So, minus 3 plus 1, we give us minus 2. We multiply again. 1 multiplied by minus 2, we give us what? Minus 2. Then, 0 minus 2, we give us another minus 2. 
all right now one times minus two again we give us minus two and two minus two we give us zero so that means that our the next um, equation that we are going to find, which is a quadratic equation, is going to be y, this is 1y squared, right? Then minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. So this, is, this will be the quadratic equation that we are going to form. Now, this particular quadratic equation, we cannot solve it using the factorization method. So we are going to solve this using the... Uh, almighty formula or the quadratic equation formula which states that y is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac okay everything divided by 2a now in this case our a okay is equal to the coefficient of y squared which is 1 our b is equal to the coefficient of y, which is minus 2. And c is our constant, which is also minus 2. Okay? Then we solve. We are going to substitute these values into this particular equation. Okay? So we have that our y is equal to... So our minus b, that should be minus minus 2, which is plus 2, right? Plus or minus the square root of b squared that is minus 2 squared which will give us 4 minus 4 ac that is 4 multiplied by a which is 1 multiplied by c which is minus 2 all right everything divided by 2a that is 2 multiplied by 1 which will still give us 2 okay now we solve that our y is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Because we have minus here, minus minus will be plus. So it's going to be plus 8 divided by 2. All right, so this is what we have. I'll write the last thing we solved here, okay? So what we got is that our y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 8, all right? Everything divided by 2. So this is what we got. Now we can write that y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 12 divided by 2. So we have that y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 12 can be written as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3. Okay? Divided by 2. All right, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. And we upload videos twice daily. So please always tune in at your convenient time to watch new videos, okay? All right, so our y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. So we have root 3, okay, divided by 2. So we now have that y is equal to... We factorize 2 out here to have what? 1 plus or minus root 3 divided by 2. All right? Then we cancel and cancel. So we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3. All right? But recall that we are not looking for the value of y. No. Rather, we are looking for the value of k. Okay? But recall that where we made this statement, see, where we said let 3k be equal to y, right? So we said let 3k be equal to y, and we got the first value of y to be equal to 1. The first value of y is equal to 1. So, but k, 3k is equal to y. So for the first value of y, for y equal to 1, okay, we can write that 3k is equal to 1. So we divide through by 3, divide through by 3, okay? And we are going to have that our k is equal to 1 over 3. So this is the first value of our k, right? Now, for this other one, for this other one, we have that our y, for this one now, we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3, right? So we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3, okay? But our k, 3k is equal to y. So we can say 3k is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3. 
all right now to get the value of k we are going to divide through by three right so divided by three divided by three and we have that k is equal to one plus or minus root three divided by three therefore the second and the third value of k should be k is equal to one plus or plus not plus or minus this time plus root three over three and k the k three is one minus root three over three Thanks so much for watching. Bye.